No, when he might need a referee uh, on hand. Uh, I suppose to me the big talking point here is that, uh, on our aspect, obviously Bayern Munich cruising through. You would expect Arsenal will go out once again, seventh consecutive year, if they, mm. they don't make some kind of miraculous recovery um, out again. Is is does the club itself have to look at itself and say, what are we? Do we want to go further forward? Do we gamble on another manager? Yeah, I feel like I'm repeating myself again. Yeah. What is the remit from the Arsenal board to Arsene Wenger? That's the killer question. Is it qualifying for the Champions League, which he's done comfortably every year, mm. or is it to go on and win the Champions League? Is it to go on and win the Premier League? And if once we get the answer to that, then you can say, but I, I, listen, I'll be... I'd be disappointed if Arsene Wenger was remembered for, for this mm. period of his management. He Listen, he came to this country and revolutionised many parts of uh, sports yeah, science it, and, and, and got mm. players thinking the correct way about, about football and their health yeah, and their lifestyle. Yeah. He has to be remembered yeah. and for being successful in mean, his it's, trophies. It's quite extraordinary. There are not that many clubs that you know, of, of Arsenal's stature around the world that, that, well, I can't think of anyone that's kept a manager uh, that long without having success, obviously, in the early days. Well, lots of success yeah, but, but, in the early days. Does he, does so, he warrant... Eternity in the job. Success uh, is relative. I mean, yeah. obviously, the, the quality can't match the expectations over a long period mm -hmm. because uh, we are from in Germany. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we talk about Arsenal, it's always a high profile club, you know, successful, mm -hmm. high standard. Mm -hmm. But it's not enough, you know, to win the, a real trophy, which means the Premier League or going yeah. even for the. It's been too, the, many, too many years, Michael, Champions hasn't it? Of, mm -hmm. of young players but then you developing, waiting for it to turn around and it never, where is that trophy coming from at seven years now, Champions League, not beyond this stage. Yeah. 2006, they're in the final. Mm. And what has happened since then, it, it's been too hollow for the Arsenal fans and they, yeah. they want a proper trophy yeah. and they feel I mean, the Premier he, League. He has the divided Arsenal fans for quite a while, hasn't he, Martin? You're either a Wenger out man or you're, you're a Wenger man through and through, but it does seem to be that there are more and more creeping towards that Wenger out side, don't they? The intelligent thing is for the manager to find the right moment to leave. Yeah. All the good leaders have yeah. done it successively. They know their exit plan and that's something now that the, the club will strongly look at, I'm sure. And one other thing, I suppose, as well, if the, if the club is still, you know, still struggling, they don't go through in the Champions League and they don't challenge for the title, which looks a long shot at the moment, does there come a stage where they're like, they have big stars, the Ozil, Sanchez, well, that's, for that's example, it, yeah. their contracts are kind of winding up, do they that's, depart? That's a, is, this a, is this kind of a crux moment yeah, for us? I think it's a huge yeah. moment. There's, you've got the management situation, but you've also got the, the top players at the club. Sanchez is definitely one of them. Ozil, these two players are going to have people caught in them. Mm. And they're at a point in their careers where they're saying, you know what? It's not about money, most mm. it's about winning things. Yeah. These guys want to win things. You see what he's like, Sanchez, when he's with his national team, winning. That, that desire and hunger in his face, he's going to want that at his club. We say that, Rio, and it's maybe doom and gloom, but what a huge platform for, maybe if we're talking already about the next manager, mm. to come into, to what he's put in place, the mm. sort of brand of football, the, the stadium. The, the platform is there for Arsenal to mm. really push on. But you, you do feel now that... Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. also difficult, though, when you've had someone, as we saw at Manchester United with, with Sir Alex Ferguson, that's been so dominant at the oh, football club changed. for so long. It's, it's difficult for the person to come in yeah. and change things it's dramatically. Change, a lot of change. Yeah, yeah but you can, you can go a certain direction. The first thing, I think, is you have to, you have to sign the big players and put, give them other big players next to them that they can grow, like you said. And Uzi, he's a great player, but he's not the kind of leader, yeah. you know, which we know from yeah. the, I don't use that word normally, but the old days, you know, this mm. kind of where he also can look up a bit next to it when it's a difficult yeah. time, you know, and they, three, four players looking at each other and they know, now we go. Yeah. Yeah. This Arsenal team, yeah. there is one looking to the other yeah. and Try and ask for help, you yeah. know. That looks like look like kids more or less sometimes. Exactly. It's 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 not a team who's you know going over a long period, uh, uh, long term yeah. uh, in the right direction. So mm. there should be major decisions okay. coming up. Uh, I sense there, Which might, way I I sense go. there might be, Michael. I use the um, phrase um, old days a lot that's <laughs> all I've got. You like that. Nowadays. Uh, coming up next, uh, we'll show you.